All right, so let's make our settings functional, okay? So if I click right now and say save settings, nothing is going to happen and I actually won't even get an error. And this is because, let me go back to our folder here, my chat. And this is because if we open our settings.php, the one in uh, the includes folder, we have our JavaScript right here together with uh, the HTML. It's being sent together with the JavaScript. So it seems uh, this kind of JavaScript that is sent is not active once it gets to this page. So what we need to do is to put our um, JavaScript already on the HTML page so that when this comes in, it can simply activate it. So what I want to do is go to your settings.php, the one in includes folder, and grab where the script tags are beginning up to where they are ending right here. So I'm going to grab everything in, including the script tags, and I'm going to cut that out. So we don't need this in here, which uh, reduces the amount of code. And we're going to need it in the index dot uh, index.php file so we're going to go down here very bottom where the script tags are ending and then we're going to paste right there so i'm going to shift tab so that it goes a little bit back twice like so okay so there's no problem with uh, closing the script tags and opening them again so we're going to leave it as it is that's fine the only thing is we have uh, repeated functions here so there's this function which also exists already in index.php which is right there okay so i want us to delete the functions that are repeated or not useful so first of all function uh this function right here i'm going to delete so collect data is unique so we'll leave it there send data is unique we'll leave it there Handle result, however, is not unique. So we're going to delete that last one because we already have a uh, handle result right here. Okay, so I think that's all we need to do for now. Uh -huh. So now let me refresh the page and hit settings. Great. And the only other thing we need to do is where is this? Uh, mm -hmm. In index.php, right where we are sending the information here on send data, we're going to say save settings. This is going to be the data type. So save settings. Okay, great. So let me refresh here. Click settings and click save. Now, if I go to inspect element, I want to see if there are any errors and sure enough, there is uh, an error. So this one is saying sign up button is no, meaning usually this happens when you're trying to get, grab an item using its ID and then it's not there or something, then you usually get that. So if I click on this, we can actually see exactly where the error is. And that's immediately after the opening script tag the closing opening right here okay so this is understandable uh, let me go back to index.php because we are trying to grab sign up button here which in this case represents this button right here we haven't changed its name yet now the thing is once i refresh the page here you see that uh, immediately uh, we get this error that's because immediately we load this is not inside a function it will run immediately with load. So it's looking for the sign up button, but it's nowhere to be seen. So by the time we click here to get this, the error already exists and we won't get any goodies from there. So we must eliminate this error. And to do so uh, will be quite uh, easy, I think. So let me zoom in here a little bit. So what we are doing here is grabbing the item and adding an event listener of click. So instead of adding the event listener here, we can simply copy the function that we are calling using this and copy that. Go to settings.php, right on the save settings button right here, we're going to create an on-click listener 
right here okay so we're going to say on click on click is equal to and paste collect data and put event that event is a must put it there and then of course we can take this opportunity to change the id instead of sign up button we're going to say save underscore settings button so we have changed its name to save settings button great so now when we come back to index.php we can simply delete this part right here we don't need it anymore so now that we don't need it if we refresh we don't get that error and and when we click settings the button itself now uh, contains an on click listener which when we click it's going to call this function directly so everything well and good great so what else can we do here um, so sign up button right here sign up button so we don't have sign up button anymore so i'm going to select everywhere the sign up button and I'm going to paste save settings button right here actually wait a second let me undo this a little bit i still need to grab this for the sake of changing its content here so what i will do is move this into here like so okay and then delete that one okay then i'm going to grab this like so and paste because we are changing the name save settings button and also since this is a different function it's not going to know what this is so i might as well copy that and put it right here great i think uh, we have it now so what this is doing is changing the button uh, content the button uh, yeah the content of the button back to sign up because the moment we start sending data we're, uh, we're changing it to loading please wait okay so i think uh, that's about it the only thing is since we are um, we are using this data type save settings as the type what we can do is on the handle result which is here the handle result function we have to put a case for save setting here so let me do this and duplicate like that and change this to save underscore setting is it save settings is it? yeah it's save settings right great so here the only thing i want is to echo out whatever message comes back so i'm going to say um alert so i'm going to remove all this and simply say alert the message like so and delete that great we are good to go nice okay and one more thing for now i just want to see the result of what we are going to do here so i'm just going to say alert here result like so okay goody and so now i need to open um, where we are sending the data which is api.php so i'll open that and make provision for that so because save uh, self settings isn't here so i'm going to duplicate this last part here Control shift d and here where it says settings i'm just going to use save underscore settings so now of course we need this file save settings or dot php sorry so let's go to uh, where is this let me go to includes so i'm simply going to copy sign up here because the information we are getting from uh, the settings this part looks almost like looks exactly like the sign up thing so i think we already have the logic to handle that in signup.php so i'm simply going to copy and paste it in the same folder and change it to save underscore settings good uh, wrong spelling there 
save and open it great so we just need to change a few things here before we go any further so for example we don't need to generate a user ID since we are editing a row that already contains a user ID. So what we're going to do is data user ID. We're going to get the user ID from uh, API.php in the session right there. We'll get it from the session. So we're going to say there like that. Great. Date. We don't need the date because we are not going to be editing the date and everything else remains exactly the same so we're just going to pass through all this evaluation process and this part where it says your profile was not was created we are going to say uh, your data was saved so that is the proper context your data was not saved due to an error okay great okay so everything else seems fine and we're going to change our query here let me shift d i'm leaving the top here so i can uh, use it for reference so the query changes to an update so we're going to go here and say update users and then set like so remove the uh the bracket okay so let's do some editing right here so all these guys here will need an equal sign. So I'm just going to do this control. I'm holding down control while doing this. I'm going to put an equal sign. Great. We're going to remove the date because we won't be editing the date. And also we're going to remove the user ID since we will not be editing the user ID. So that's what remains. And what I will do now is grab the user ID together with the full colon here and move it. Oh, actually, this is user ID, so no, nah, I'll leave it there. It's username that I need here. There we go. And I'm going to get the gender, make sure the colon is there. And what else? Email. I'm going to get the email, grab it there. Password as well. Voila. Everything is fine. And now we're going to, we need to tell it which row to edit. So we're going to say where. Uh, where the user ID is equal to uh, full colon user ID like so and then we're going to tell it to limit one limit one so that uh, it only edits one row okay I think uh, my query looks uh, solid and anyway, we will see once we try it so let me delete the one on top we don't need it anymore and everything else remains uh, pretty much the same all right great and now what i want to do is um, go back to api index and i just want to check the okay so we have an alert here so let me go back to save settings what i want to do here is to simply read the data that is being received before uh, all right just to confirm that the data is being received so what i want to do is just say die here so that the script just ends here and i want to do a uh, echo and because what i want to echo is the data being received which is this one and this is an object so i'm going to json encode it into a string like that and then that's what I'm going to send simple and straightforward so let me refresh here and I receive that great so let me hit settings okay don't worry about that this is just that information so let me hit save okay that's great so when I hit save you see that I get everything password 2 password 1 gender email username uh, and the data type so everything seems to be working fine because our data is being sent there so and then we get the undefined uh all right so let me remove this part and let it run let's see what we get this time so i'm going to hit sign up your data was not saved due to an error 
Mm -hmm. So there was an error. Bummer. Okay. So what was the error? So let me come down here to save settings. And the error I got was your data was not saved due to an error, meaning result was not true here. Hmm. Whatever could it be? So let me go back to my query and see update users set username equal to gender equal to email. It's very easy to uh, it's very easy to make a mistake on these queries. Okay, there we go. So I have a closing uh, bracket here, but I do not have an opening bracket. So I'm going to assume this was the error. Okay. So let's give it another spin. We don't have to refresh the page because this is Ajax. Your data was saved. Great. Okay. So now just to confirm that my data was actually saved. Uh, oh, and one more thing, actually. Let me go back to index.php. Everything seems to be fine. So I'm going to remove the alert here so I can get a proper message. And then what I want to do is, because you see, once we change the settings, the data displaying here should also change, right? So it's easy to change this data here because we've done it before by just saying get data user info. So I'm just going to copy this part right here, this, this function here, and run it immediately after the alert right there. Uh, I could, okay, I could just uh, do that, right? I could put it here or there regardless. Okay. So let's refresh this time and settings. Now I just want to add a two at the top here just so I can see that uh, something will change there and hit save settings. And of course, uh, nothing happens. So I'm guessing there's an error, but it seems there is none. Hmm. Let me refresh the page. So clearly uh, nothing has changed. So what is going on?